Um, Mike and Dan here at GM Bolt. Um, we've also got a full range here of batten screws. And you can see some of these here. A batten screw is um, identifiable. It's usually an Allen or pentagram. Hex. Or, oh, a hex, just a hex drive. Is that the same as an Allen? Yeah, it is an Allen key drive, yes. Oh, okay. Dumb question, but don't be afraid to ask your dumb questions at GM Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, and also by its countersunk head, also its self-embedding head, if you see the nibs under the head there. And these come in various sizes. Um, we can get them pretty long, probably up to... 200 what, mil. Yeah, about 200 mil long. This is a yellow zinc or class 2 coating on this one. Um, this is a class 3. Do they have a class 4 in batten screws? Uh, some brands do them, but they just yeah. overpriced. And then this is actually a stainless batten and if you can afford the stainless battens when doing a deck or fencing or whatever I definitely recommend them anyone that's doing a job right is going to do them with stainless battens but they are extremely expensive but these all have a type 17 end you can see on there and that's for drilling it's like a semi drill flute for drilling into wood um, so Dan do you have to pre-drill the hole on these? Um, predominantly no but um, if you're going into hardwood then uh, it is re highly recommended yeah that hardwood will crack on you it's not really crack, it, it'll actually break the screw. Oh, really? And then yeah. good luck getting it out. Yeah. And how do you get a screw out of, of hardwood? You We've have to have a smaller mix. drill bit and drill it out and collapse the center. Yeah. So actually a smaller drill bit, drill into the screw once it's broken off, collapse the center. Does an extractor kit work on these types of screws uh, once they're embedded in hardwood no, like that? No, just because they're too long. An extractor kit yeah. will only go down to two inches. Oh, in length. In length, yeah. Yeah, and these are quite a bit longer. So you want to do everything you can to make sure that doesn't snap off in there. I wonder if the stainless actually have a better rate um, than the uh, carbon in breaking off. Um, it's it's much of a muchness, really. Um, the normal band screws are just made out of a 4.6 grade mold steel. Yep. And um, stainless steel is very similar, if not a little bit higher than 4.6. It's around probably 5. So, oh, so the stainless in this product is slightly, actually harder. Yeah, so the band screw is a mild steel product and the stainless is slightly harder. Yeah, stainless well, just has an uh, extremely impressive corrosion resistance. Yeah, do they have um, 304 battens or just 316? They have both, they have 304 have and 316 battens. So the A2 is actually 304 and the A4 designation is 316. Yes. Yeah, so when you look at the head, um, if you see an A2, that's 304 stainless, that's the lower grade. You see A4, that's 316 stainless, the higher grade. This one doesn't happen to have a marking on it. I wonder why. Uh, stainless just, will just usually be marked. On the brand, there, there's, there is no strange standard for saying you have to have uh, batten screws marked. It's marked on the head. Anyway, um, come down and get your batten screws here for your fences and decking at GM Bolt.